Hello, my name is Kyle DeHaas. I'm a musician and entrepreneur in Austin, Texas. I'm a member of a band called The Native Transplants. I'm also a student at the Introduction to Music Production course offered by the Berklee School of Music. The subject for this video is how to record an electronic instrument. During this video, we'll look at the following topics. We'll discuss an inventory of the equipment needed. We'll talk about how they're connected together to create the signal flow. We'll discuss considerations for signal loss as well as gain staging the electronic instruments. And finally, we'll be recording the performance. In this example, we're going to use multiple pieces of electronic equipment to record a performance. First, what we have here is the Yamaha S80 synthesizer. This will be used to generate tones. Then we have Roland TD9 KX2 electronic drums. This will be used to perform the percussion pieces. For sequencing, we're going to use a Ubuntu Studio laptop running a sequencer called Seq24. This will provide the sequencing information for the electronic instruments. The laptop will interface with the electronic instruments with an M-Audio uh, MIDI Sport 2x2 USB to MIDI interface. And finally, we're going to record the output, the audio output of the performance to a Zoom R24 24 track digital recorder. At the beginning of the signal path, we have a laptop with a sequencer running on it. This sequencer has a MIDI song file loaded. And in that song file, we can assign where the different signals are going to go to. In this example, We've got signals going from the sequencer to two different ones. We send toned information to the Yamaha synthesizer through MIDI port A. In port B, we send percussion information over to the Roland. That's specified in the song file. The USB to MIDI interface is a device that receives the data from the USB port and converts it to MIDI data streams and then sends it out via two outbound MIDI connections, A and B. The first one is connected by a MIDI cable to the MIDI in port of the synth. And the second one is connected in the same way to the MIDI in port of the electronic drum kit. The synthesizer and the drums each interpret the MIDI data in near real time, and each converts the data to musical sounds. The sounds are output by a stereo audio out. At this point, the signal flow has changed from digital bits to analog voltage. Both instruments output audio and stereo using unbalanced TS connections, hip sleeve. The TS cables are connected to the recording interface. So once I've got the uh, audio level set on the instruments themselves, like I said, I usually like to leave it at 75% at the most, you know, somewhere between half and 75%. And just leave it there. Then I start doing the gain staging over on the recording interface. Now here it's got a built-in mixer. Channels one and two are the synthesizer, three and four are the drums, and channel five is my voice. The way I'm going to do this is, since I already know that the sequencer and the electronic instruments are pretty well connected, I'm going to start the sequencer and play the song. And as I'm playing the song, I'm going to adjust the level. start the recorder and then we're going to start the sequencer to play the song file and the electronic instruments will play it and I'm going to play along with just a couple of the parts.
hope you enjoyed the video. Some parting thoughts. We took a look at the inventory of equipment needed to record electronic instruments. We looked at the signal flow. Uh, we looked at how to do gain staging. Um, important to remember that uh, we want the uh, MIDI cables to be short so there's very little signal loss and we want to do the gain staging or early in the signal flow, preferably at the mixer where we've got gain control. Um, we uh, showed a mix of sequencing and live performance and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Take care. From Austin, Texas, I'm Kyle DeHaas with the Native Transplants.